Hello, hello, welcome to my humble boat. My name is Denise, and today I'm gonna go ahead and share six upcoming cozy Studio Ghibli inspired games. I am a huge Studio Ghibli fan. I'm even born on the same day as Hayao Miyazaki, so. I mean, which is why I'm so excited to go ahead and share all these games with you all. Let's go ahead and just get started. Moonstone Island is an open world deck building game where you play as an alchemist in training who has moved far away from their home to follow their village's tradition for alchemy training. After moving away from your home village, you start your adventures on an island in the sky with a couple simple tools, alchemical recipes, and the ability to tame nature's spirits. In this game, you can build your home, discover and explore dungeons, explore 120 plus procedurally generated biomes and islands, meet the locals, fall in love, farm, and after farming, you can even utilize your crops to craft potions for battles. Moonstone Island will be released sometime in 2023 on PC, Mac, Nintendo Switch, Xbox, and PlayStation. One thing I do have to say about this game is that I'm so excited for how cozy and beautiful this game looks. There are so many things that you can do in this game. Hopefully, they'll introduce a co-op mode so you can play with your friends like in Terraria, Valheim, since there aren't that many cozy co-op games in the market right now. If you're somebody who really enjoyed the Nino Kuni games as well as Breath of the Wild, then you'll really enjoy this next one. No More Fathers is an adventure RPG set high above the clouds where you play as a young boy, exploring and flying through a mysterious world full of unexplored islands, dark spirits, and caves where you can meet a variety of characters brimming with stories to share while you look for answers about your absent father. There's no release date as of right now since it's still in its early stages of development. No More Fathers is absolutely beautiful and I'm so excited for this game to release. I really see like the Nino Kuni inspiration as well as the Breath of the Wild inspiration just from like the character design. I think in one of the scenes you can even see yourself gliding above the ground in order to get to this granny and I guess that's like the main way to traverse around the town. It's kind of like how Link glides around on his glider. We're doing something similar except we don't have a glider we're just flying amongst the wind because our best friend is the wind apparently and i think that's a really interesting mechanic hopefully there's a little bit more to the, the story um so far it seems very intriguing but i think what will really sell it is the story because if the story hits this game is going to be amazing if you finish howl's moving castle and remember that ending where sophie and howl kind of glide off in the air in their flying castle and you wanted to be there then you'll really enjoy this next game Sally is a farming and adventure game where you embark on the Sally, a flying ship crewed by kids and stewarded by two caring grandmas that allow you to develop lasting relationships, craft, cook, farm, build, and explore your way through a cozy Ghibli-inspired world. As you repair the ship, you can help your crewmates reach their goals and aspirations. Sail the skies with your friends and get to the ultimate goal, which is to journey to a faraway land that you can call your home. The Kickstarter for the game just concluded this month, so there is a release date that has been announced just yet, but the game is confirmed to be on Nintendo Switch for sure. Sally is such an interesting game because it is community-centered, which means that the interaction that you have with your crewmates is very important. According to the Kickstarter, characters will react differently according to their moods, personality, relationships, and memories. And every Sally game experience will be truly unique, which really reminds me of how the Sims interact with each other, which is kind of a new exciting thing that you don't see outside of the Sims franchise. I also really love how diverse the characters are. The customization features are amazing. It even shows like characters with different skin tones, different sizes, and all sorts of different features. And my favorite favorite feature out of all of them is the fact that you can adventure to different places with your crew and kind of like see what's going on. So hopefully there are a lot of places that you can explore within this game since the main gameplay of this game is fixing up your ship and traveling to a new island to call home. I also really find it really interesting how there is a language that the Sally characters are speaking. It is a fictional language loosely based on the Quebec language. The developers call it Julie or Jolie. I'm not quite sure how to say it. And the goal of Julie is to give the voices of Sally characters tone and intent whilst giving them a feel of where their team is from. Have you finished Undertale and Earthbound and want something on the same lines or something similar to it? Then you might really enjoy this next game. Spiritwell is an adventure game where you play as a lost child who falls down a well into a world of 
spirits. The game features a story-rich and character-driven experience with a focus on humor and the little things. Join a ragtag pirate crew, step on moss ball spirits, and collect river trash. In the end, who knows where the journey will take you? Currently, there is no confirmed release date or platforms that the game will be available on, but there will be a Kickstarter for the game that will come out very, very soon, so stay tuned. As a huge fan of Earthbound, Undertale, and Studio Ghibli, I think this game is going to be absolutely amazing. Spirit Well has every single thing that I look for in a game, which includes story, humor, and just like quirky characters that you can really relate to and form emotional connections with when you're playing the game. David Chan, the developer of the game, was really inspired by Japanese RPGs and anime, and he really wanted to make a game that is focused on story, character, and narrative. Kind of like Undertale, there really isn't a focus on violence. In fact, there are no battles in Spiritwell. Instead, you'll experience a lot of scenes and interactions that focus more on the characters and the story, which is my absolute favorite thing. So I'm excited and hopefully you are excited as well about this game. If you enjoy Totoro and 90s anime, you'll really enjoy this next game. Vivarium is an adventure RPG where you wake up and find yourself in an enormous terrarium. While exploring your new environment, meet new characters, grow your escape, and along the way, uncover the mysteries of the terrarium. It's about finding where you belong while surviving in a familiar yet alien environment. The game is still in early development, so there is no confirmed release date or platforms as of just yet, but I'll let you all know when there is. Vivarium is one of those games that I am super looking forward to because of the art style. I love how it looks like a anime film like the 90s or a Studio Ghibli film. It does have those eyes, which are called like the Otsuka eyes from many retro animes from like the 90s. Even the developer has like kind of noted down as being one of their inspirations. And a couple of more inspirations include Crayon Shinchan, Urusei Yasura, a painting by John Canemaker, the game Tulip. And the developer for this game is actually a New York City TV animator and a friend of Trent Gollop who made the game A Walk with Yaya, which I've also made a video about, which you can check out right here in the description. But they are friends and they're making this game together. So it's really exciting to see all these game developers like working together to make a wonderful game. So the game developer has shared a lot of like concept art for this game, which includes this concept art of the Vivarium world, which shows the terrarium-esque kind of world in its full form. And it's absolutely beautiful. It really reminds me of Hayao Miyazaki's concept art, especially with like the colors, tones, and watercolor feel that this art has. It still seems to be very early on in development, but the developer is taking in new animators and new developers onto this project to speed up the development for this game. If you're looking for a game that is inspired by Spirit Away, then you'll really enjoy this next game. Yokai Inn is a Japanese-inspired life sim taking place during the Edo or Meiji era, where you run and manage an inn for spirits while farming, cooking, crafting, customizing, raising animals, and befriending folk, both human and otherworldly. Yokai Inn is currently still in development and hand-drawn by Shiba Pixels, with Moon Sailor handling sound and the music in the game. There's no release date as of right now, but the developer thinks they may be able to get out an early access release of the game in two years. Yokai Inn is an absolutely beautiful game that I'm super excited to go ahead and try it out once it releases. It's still very early in development, so it's not going to come out anytime soon, but the developer is working really hard to make the game as best as it can be. And I've already talked about Yokai Inn in a full ass video. So if you want to go ahead and see all the details, update everything about the game so far from how it was developed to how it is doing now, go ahead and check out this video right here. And so far, I am really enjoying how the development of the game is looking so far. And I really think that it's different from other farming games because it incorporates yokai, spirits, and Japanese culture into the mix. And instead of just like fixing up your farm, you are also like fixing up this inn for spirits and becoming friends with spirits. I have so many more upcoming Studio Ghibli inspired cozy games that I haven't shared in this video. If you want more, let me know in the comments or press the like button to let me know that you want more videos like this. If there are enough people, I'll make a part two of this video. In the meantime, how about you go ahead and check out this video on A Walk with Yaya, which is a heartfelt story about grandma and her grandson. Thanks for watching. Bye!